Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Mania Road to Monuments. Today we're doing three of our favorite type of races. We're doing three Northern Classics or Cobblestone races. First of all, we have Grand Prix Wagen, then we have E3 Halberg, and then we're ending off with Gent Wielgen. So three really exciting races before we head into the Monuments in the next video. Today we are, of course, not in excellent shape because for some reason, even though this should be our pretty much our, the best time year that we should be in shape, we are in bad rhythm and yeah, bad fitness as well, only good instead of compared to Shinichal, our captain, who is in excellent shape because this is really 80 carbs on. This is the race where he has to be in great shape. 22 years old, he's, he should become a great carbs on rider in a few years for our team. Hopefully, I'll become one as well so we can battle it out. But for now on, let's just get this race started and hopefully we can get a top 10 placement, even though I doubt it with the pretty poor fitness we have. And I guess, I'm guessing that our opponents are going to be in great shape as we are winding up for the great Cobblestone Classics. Let's get it started. Okay, last 36 kilometers. We only have around three or four Cobblestone sections to go. This one is probably going to be the most hard, the diff most difficult one of them all. Just around the corner here. And this should be probably the time where we have to create a bit of an attack here. Uh, we'll go here on 85 and Bielsen is going really fast up front. I'm a bit caught out over here to the right, but I did get a gap here. Let's see how many people can hold on. As I said, a tough pace over this climb. We have uh, Pumas here, who I believe is actually Jaron Thomas. It's a really bad uh, translate of Thomas Pumas. But uh, G Pumas and his English and his stats match up pretty well. So the shower, my teammate, then we have Vandenberg is as the pretty much the favorites for this race. We don't really have the big guys. Kanselar is not here. I get blocked in by Woolish from the breakaway, which means that my actual teammate got away. So nice for me, nice for my teammate. Maybe we can get a 1-2 win here. Uh, it's probably pr pretty unlikely. So a little gap down here and then we have a steep couple section here. Coming up, we have a Sky Guy and lots of Rider right behind me. But it's a really short one, so you can see the gaps here are pretty big actually, honestly. So he's had almost up to a minute already, that's impressive by him. And I can't really do much here. I don't know what, the, what pace I should go with at the moment. Because I'm a bit worried about going at such a high pace here, but it's still 25 kilometers to go. Should I just get caught by the group behind me? I think that would probably be the best choice I have right here. Little eight man group here behind me. Uh, I think I got a chance of sticking with this group and get a top 10 place here. Shouldn't be too, too unlikely. I mean, it is costing me a bit of energy just sitting with the group here. But as long as I'm in the front, as when we hit the final climbs, I should be fine still, I think. A couple of quick step riders seem to be struggling in front and back and Debaka. Selechal, my captain, is still out in front. I still have a bit of my yellow bar as well, but it is such a small amount. Selechal still has a bit more. He has plus five again today, so it is perfect day for him again to try and win. He's an excellent uh, fitness as well, so he's a much better both step wise and uh, fitness wise today than me. So it's not a surprise that he's able to beat me today. Arrow, the Sky Rider has fallen off as well. We have three riders out in front. John Thomas, Makato, Sinichal, Lekeman, and Tispino uh, battling for fourth place right here. And then we have four guys down here battling for sixth right now. You see my pulse is really low right now. I'm not really losing or gaining any time at the moment. I just think we're losing time to the group behind us. But it might not be the end of the world, honestly. Because I feel like I can actually... I don't know how strong the two guys up in front are. But I think the backer is completely toast, so I'm going to beat him anyway. Let's try and attack here. And then use our energy gel as well. We should see them, yeah, went in front book and... Look arrow, look row, I think it's actually look row. I don't, I'm not sure, but I think it's look row. They're getting up to the group with Chispino and uh, Logemans, Spion Logemans in front of us, but I don't think we have an acceleration 
advantage, but they probably have a bit more energy than we have. So you can see the pace advantage we had didn't really matter at all. Seneschal, uh, John Thomas, Mercato still up front. Mercato is a great sprinter, so is John Thomas. I don't think Seneschal is going to have a chance here. Yeah, it's going to be Mercato actually winning in front of Seneschal. And then John Thomas taking third place. I'm going to take around probably sixth place here. I mean, I am going to be beaten by Tishpino and Leukermans here at the end, I think. Maybe I can actually take up top 5 just, but it's going to be really, really close. Oh, <laughs> Jens Tibbush, yeah, just came in and overtook both his teammate and me, and only took 7th place. But still, okay, so I got top 10 place, which was really was what I was hoping for. Let's get on to the next race. And here we are, the next one. It's Ketre Haarbeke, from Haarbeke to Haarbeke, of course. Still not in great shape. Rhythm is getting a bit better, but still bad. Uh, not that many couple sections close to finishing, but we have one big one here, which is also uphill, and that's usually the one where the race is decided. So let's, hopefully we can be in the final group after this climb. This climb will be tough as well because everybody's going to be tired here, and the strongest guys can easily drop the weakest on this climb right here. And then it's a long flat road to the finish, which should end up in a mass sprint. Let's try it out. Okay, most of the bottom is now gone. We down to the final part of the stage, and this is where all of the cobble seasons are coming. All really steep, all with cobbles, and then of course the flat season at the end. But after this one, I don't think we'll have a big group at all. There's a small group actually that's about to get away here, but now is where I want to make my move up to the front of the group here. So I'm at the front of the group once the cobble section starts, because you can see it right here around to the right of the, of the screen now, and now we're into it. The competition. I am actually in a horrible position right here. This is so bad for me. I should have timed this much better. I should have been in the front of this on the climb before. I got a bit of a of a way forward here on the right, and now to the left again, trying to snake my way up. But I'm stuck behind my own teammates in the shuttle actually. I did get past them, and I'm still in the front group. But it could have ended up a lot worse here. A small downhill on the front section again before another climb. This time I want to be one of the first rider, or at least one of the first five riders into the climb. Four to six main group, so I am in the front group here. A bit of flat road here as we head into the right corner here and then we get into the climb. I'm in the front, we have of course a lot stronger pills on this time since this is a world tour race. We have guys like Kancelar, uh, Van Marke, Nico Terpstra, Peter Sagan, Degenkolb, Stuba, Lars Boom, Greg. John Thomas and of course my captain as well, Sinechal. I got actually a little gap here. 24 riders now only behind me. You can see the pace was risen by me here as we uh, exited the last climb. Another climb here. Once again I'll try and go on 85 here. We have two geese, my teammate up in front. Not really the greatest 62 in cobblestones, so not expecting him to be much help today. It is Van de Brug actually going probably for Tapstra down in the, in the group behind me. Now I'll have to take some water here. And I'll probably have to go down to 70 again. Because I feel everybody else is too much. Three riders behind me right now. It is uh, Jaron Thomas, Stuba and Van Aumart. And we have Roland and Limpert. Uh, probably to help us honestly. Trying to get back, and the, the entire pales on this just behind them as well, so it's not a big gap right now. Need I sit right here? We're going really slow right now because there's still a couple of carbon sections to go, so I'm a bit worried about how, how I should approach these. Should I just go slow and try and uh, do it at my own pace, or should I try and follow this group because I feel like they're going way too fast for me? I'm a bit worried about going too fast here at the beginning. See, right now I'm blocking everybody behind me, so Stuba is just going away by himself now. Sarkin comes up, boom, you should see Kancelar. For now, Malek still drops back. I think they're dropping back for Tapstra, which is surprising because they have a pretty good chance themselves of, of getting a good placement here. So seeing them drop back now is probably not the strategy I would have chosen. I have not seen Sinichal as well, but there he is. The entire peloton just comes up here. Oh, takes me digging Kolb is in front of the peloton. Sinichal is here as well. I could protect him and try and improve his chances of getting 
uh, this World Tour when we are not the greatest team in the World Tour. We need all the points we can get, otherwise we will probably get relegated to the to the Continental Tour once again. I don't know if I even made it to the front group here. Oh, I, I might just have made it here. But now comes the tough one. This is the tough one. This is what we've been fearing. Tapster, Bone. Yeah, Tapster sitting behind me now. He really has to work now because he's stuck behind me. I don't think he's in a good position to kickstep right now. Can I even make it in the front group here? I don't think I can. I'm not strong enough right now. My fitness is not good enough. So it's not like they got away. The entire kickstep team got lost here. Terrible race. They should. They were one of the favorites. This, is, this isn't their home country, and they're completely messing this race up right now. Not looking good for them. Of course, I'm done now. I made it over all the carpet sections. There's one hill to go where I will get dropped by the quick step, and uh, I think it's not Sudel as well. And Sky, honestly, train here. All the helpers down here. I can just say I help. I help Sinichal today. That's my. That's that's what I'm going to say. He is not, yeah, he is in the front group, yeah, he's in front group with Fenwag and Sagan. Kanselar is actually not there, where is Kanselar? He's actually behind me. Pretty terrible uh, strategy so far by Kanselar, but the wagons is here, or by the wagons. So steep climb here. Pulse is really low in the peloton here, but we'll see Sky Riders now, it is. Van Kersbrug setting the pace, Mathieu Pochelle trying to follow up. We should see uh, Smukul is actually falling off now. They can come back, he's struggling a lot as well, as surprising. I was expect expecting him to, to see him up in the front, but not today. Get some water, Senechal. Tafta trying to break away, but still in the front group with the other eight riders. But we are about three minutes after, I will not get. Oh, he has lost time now, Zinichal. He's not in the front group anymore. No states win for Kofis today, but any World Tour points for us is important in these uh, Cobblestone Classics because that's pretty much where we have our best chance after we lost Buhani, of course, to Kickstep. You can see right now we are gaining uh, time again. 6, 10, 11. So there are 11 riders in front of me right now, which means I'm not going to get any, any World Tour points, even if I win the sprint here at the, at the end of the group because there's still 11 wires in front of me. So, pretty pointless. Find the Cancelar and the rest of the favorites who didn't manage to make it the first time have caught up with me. The final sprint is in, two kilometers to go. It's going for Degenkopf's wheel. There's some pretty strong sprinters in this group. Bosenhagen, Degenkopf, Posato, uh, Cancelar, Tombone, Pachel actually is a pretty good sprint as well. And uh, I'll start my sprint here for 12th place, I'm guessing it is. I'm guessing I'm going to end up in around 18th, 20th place. Let's see how many people can follow me here. Because I can't sprint for that long. I got a small gap, that's what you had to try and do. Peter Sagenat actually ended up winning it in front of Enbarge, Holands, Stuba, John Thomas, Lars Bohn, Daniel Oss, Jenny Schaller, my team got 8th place, Tafta with 9th. And for now I'm at the 10th. And then I'm getting in here at around 11th, 12th place. I think that's 13th, honestly, because I think there's one more guy out in front. So probably 13th place. That's pretty decent, again, for a World Tour race at least. And here we are at the final of the Carpool Classics of today. It is Skandvilge. Usually this is actually known as a bit of a mix between a Sprinter's Classic and a Carpool Classic. Because yes, it has the Carpool Climbs. But usually in recent years, at least in a lot of recent years, it has ended up being kind of a mass sprint, and which is why it's not really looked as a, at the most exciting of the couple classics. If that's good or bad for me, it could be good because I might actually just stay in the front group and might even be able to make a lucky attack at the final kilometers, or I might just get dropped and end up really far behind. Hopefully, it'll end up good for me. Uh, I don't have my captain with, with me, I think this time Sinus Child is not here, so I should be the best. Maybe I'll even get protected by my teammates, unless they'll protect some of the sprinters. We'll see. Let's get the race started. Okay, last 50 kilometers here. 
We are closing on the final climb of the day. This is where I pretty much decided is how many people were made to the finish line because there's not really much more happening after this climb. There's one little small climb just after where a lot of things will be decided. But now it's just about getting in the right place so you can get over this climb as one of the first couple of riders here. I'm going full speed here, oh, not full speed, but 90 speed. That's really fast. It's a short climb, so just about making it over in the first 5-10 riders here. It will cost me a lot of energy, but hopefully it'll be to my benefit in the end. The camel back here, this is. You can see 90 is almost not enough to the great cops on riders in front of me. There's one sky right here, Van Kersburg here, just trying to close the gap. Did I make it over with the front group? Okay, there's actually a lot of riders behind me as well. So, seems like I have quite a big gap here. But a small climb, more coming right here. We have I have gone over it once before. See what anything happens today this time. This is pretty much the last opportunity to attack if you want to attack on a hill and not just flat road. My god, I can, I can almost not even stay on with 85 anymore. I have to go up to 90 on this hill to just stay in the group. It's crazy, it's Christoph leading out so fast out the front. 71 hills, he's not even better in the hills than I am. Why is he going so fast then? Oh well, I made it over the hill here. 25 riders remaining. I'll try and get some water here, my final bottle for today. And then we'll just speed through it until the finish line. Just pay attention to see if anything is happening in the breakaway. can already tell my pulse is going down. That is a good sign right now. But I would have liked it to go more down right now so I can weaken energy instead of just slowly losing energy, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay, 70. I have to go to 70, otherwise I'll just end up losing energy. I'm about to get dropped right now, it seems. I don't know if it's, if it's because I'm sitting so far up. Okay, pulls down again. Under 140 right now. Yes, come on, I'm regaining. Come on, this is so good. I know everybody else is probably around a full energy bar right now. But to me, this is really important. Okay, my pulls up again. But my red bar is not emptied out yet. That's really nice for me. Okay, and that's what happens when you don't pay attention. There's a small little climb here. It's nothing on the map. But you can see it cost me all of my energy. And I'm trapped now. I don't think I can, I'm able to make it back again. Wow. Okay. I uh, spoke a bit too soon there again. Pace is not that high right now in the Peloton. But you can see I'm the one who's struggling the most in this group. I have also been a lucky. Mine is free. I feel like Lex, all of the all the races I've done in this video. I've had minus in day shape. So it's not like I've been the most... Uh, luckiest rider ever here. Take my end of the deal now. Might as well. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to win anyway. So why not? You can see how, how how it does matter a small bit, but look at how little of amount it actually regains for you. This is most likely just my uh just my natural regeneration from just having a low pulse right now. Let's see. This stuff is here at the Mars. We have a lot of sprinters. Sagan, I think Cavendis is actually here as well. Kaibel is probably here as well. Yeah, and Katusha Jersey, right, actually. So. Now you see, now I'm getting dropped here. Uh, let's just go to 99. Why not? I'm probably going to get 26th place anyway. You can see up front, 26th place for me. Everybody else is far behind me. Christoph, Degenkolb, Boden, Cavendish, Sagan. You can call Kreibel is somewhere there as well. I can't see who's winning. The Mars are all up there. They can call Cavity is all the way up in front. And it was Christoph actually that actually didn't do it. I see quite a bit in front of Sagan, I think. Cavity is in third, the in fourth. And they can call all the way down seventh with Kreibel in tenth. I'm so far behind. I, I lost two minutes in the last five kilometers or so. Ending up in 26th place here. Still a pretty good result in a world to race. Sadly enough, once again, bad result for Cafetis overall. But let's get to the next stage. I don't really know why I said last stage, because this was of course the last stage. Uh, next time we'll do the two monuments, 
we'll do Hunt van Vlaanderen and Prezo Bay, our first monument of this Pro Cycles mode career. And I'm really looking forward to it because it's what the two I feel like I have the most chance of winning, not this year, but probably in a year or two, once I've pretty much mastered the cobblestone tactic. Uh, if you guys have any tips for cobblestone status, because I really haven't driven a lot of them yet, uh, what I could do better in my tactic, because we, right now I'm just doing the same thing, getting in to the climbs as early as possible and just going at, over them at my own pace, not just uh, letting myself get trapped by sitting on someone else's paces and or losing more energy by that. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Next up is, of course, the Hunter van der and then we'll see the parts of also in the next video. See you guys next time. Goodbye.